Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to show you how to create this uh, you know, jQuery image carousel that auto advances in an infinite loop uh, I'm using three pictures, you could have used many more Okay, let me start off by showing you the local site folder as well so you have the HTML, CSS and all the JSS uh, right here in-house embedded, three pictures, 500-800 in dimensions 800 is the width Okay, you have the latest jQuery minified compressed library Alrighty, so let's code it out, people. Not at all too difficult. Uh, you know this this carousel dot html uh, is gonna contain all the three uh, CSS, HTML, and JS, all of them together. Not because the file is not gonna be too big. So let's focus on the opening, closing body tags in line number 27 to 29. Okay, I'm gonna push in some code. Basically, uh, <coughs> I want to see a division inside a div with an ID of carousel inside which I'm gonna push in. Uh, a pair of opening closing ul tags with allies obviously ul's unordered list will have list items which in turn have images cherry jpg orange jpg strawberry jpg i've skipped the alternate text but you shouldn't if at this point i were to save the document up bring the browser up and if i were to refresh guys you'll actually see that now all since they are list items they will carry bullets very small dots you see and they'll be top bottom okay all of them have a width of 800 height of 500 okay let's push in some more code so in the opening closing style tags I'm making sure that the margins uh, paddings of all the elements are actually set to a zero so that's the reset rule let's throw in the next rule okay which is for the division ID carousel margin 50 uh, and auto so top bottom 50 but left and right auto they'll center up the div width of 800 height of 500 which is the same as the image width height box shadow some subtle box shadow of uh, a spread 10 px uh, you know vertical horizontal uh, so x displacement y displacement 0 but a spread value of 10 no color overflow hidden so uh, I wouldn't want to see anything outside the demarcation of the boundaries 800 500 okay cool at this point I, uh, at this point I would to bring the browser up and refresh you can see it's uh, kind of centered up you have some subtle box shadow and uh, yep you can only see one image simply because uh, I've set the uh, overflow to be a hidden otherwise you would see other two images uh, towards the bottom since it's a uh, a UL list okay let's get in the next rule so I'm saying for the UL which is inside the div carousel list style uh, none so basically removing the bullets and the width of 2400 basically uh, three images of 800 each 800 into 3 is 2400 zero. I'm gonna stack the uh, images left to right right now they are top to bottom I'm soon gonna st uh, stack them left to right and that's why uh, image width into 3 number of images okay let's bring in the next rule carousel ul li allies actually contain the uh, images and I'm floating the allies to uh, float left through the float left property floating them all left so they start to rub shoulders and they'll tuck themselves adjacent to each other okay so the top down hierarchy will now be left right hierarchy but you will still see only one image because I've used overflow hidden out here okay and that's why this uh, number 2400 left right hierarchy for the three images 800 into 3 cool next rule uh, next rule actually throws in some bit of jQuery function so you see this is the document ready when the DOM is initialized and uh, the elements are accessible uh, to be manipulated I want a set interval function to fire what set interval function does it executes some code in some time period here I've set the time period to be a 3000 so whenever you want that infinite function to happen you set it interval in jQuery okay so set interval in jQuery and using the set interval in jQuery I would want this um, code to fire on and on and on and on forever okay so targeting ul's in the carousel I want to animate them uh, I'm animate which property margin left by how much 800 um, uh, px and in what time period in 800 uh, milliseconds and then we want to run a callback uh, call function so let's see what will happen if I actually do that let's bring it up if I were to refresh uh, okay maybe if I insert some more code it should uh, take place and you can see in line number 20 I'm actually tying up with the uh, latest jQuery function jQuery.js okay let's bring in some more code guys okay I've uh, pushed in some more code so what I'm saying is um, 
see the whole the whole uh, UL should budge from the left hand side by these many pixels which is the width of the uh, image and uh, in 800 m milliseconds and then we have a callback function summoned so callback functions always allow the animation to complete first so I'm using the after method to insert some content before and after methods can actually insert some content so I'm saying uh, look for the last carousel item or the last image okay and after that insert the first image of the carousel so it's a big long descendant rule carousel you will ally last okay so whatever will but you know the first uh, image is gonna be tucked back to the tail so head goes to the tail you know that kind of um, uh, arrangement okay let's see if I can see a browser preview at this point refresh okay something bizarre oh <laughs> oh. oh okay basically there's no sliding happening but the images um, bam 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 just come in after each other okay everything's gonna be set all right when I actually insert the last bit of code so this out here refers to uh, carousel UL okay so if I uh, made sure that the UL is displaced or bulged from the left hand side by these many pixels margin left a minus 800 using camel casing guys when you use the animation property animate property don't use it uh, this way margin left you have to use it this way camel casing okay whatever I had uh, made sure that was minus 800 uh, and now I'm actually making sure it's reset back to a zero. Okay, so UL which was uh, set to minus 800 is now being reset back to zero. Okay, the <coughs> the first image of the carousel is being um, you know added to the tail after the last image. So that's gonna make sure that the loop happens the uh, first image is added to the last every time the loop is actually run the loop runs in 3000 milliseconds so you can hasten up the whole process you you know altering this figure and swap the images quicker or slide the images quicker uh, by uh, changing this value okay so this should be the final product okay let's save the document up bring the browser up and let's do a refresh for the last time and yep that's uh, this, you know the, they're gonna slide from right to left very nicely smoothly evenly and wasn't it so very easy so guys i hope you found this information useful you have a good day bye bye peace